Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so it's time to do my October roundup. Yay! Um, so as I'm sure those of you who follow the channel have noticed, um, I didn't do any of the shorts this month. Um, I did do a couple of short book readings instead uh, from my two horror titles um, because it was October and it felt more relevant. Um, at this point, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing the shorts. I enjoy doing them, but they're also a lot of work. So it's, it's a kind of a case of me kind of... I, I enjoy doing them when I'm doing them. But I know it's going to be a lot of work, so I don't really want to do the work, so then I don't do them. It, yeah, it's sort of like that kind of swings and roundabout situation at the moment. However, I actually found um, video recording me uh, doing reads, opposed to what I was doing with the, um, the echo reading that I did back along, uh, where it was just voice recording was actually a lot easier on the editing front. Um, granted, I was also doing shorter, <laughs> uh, shorter amount of reading uh, for the most part as well. Um, but it was overall a lot easier. Um, so I'm considering maybe starting to just do book reads um, straight from my books um, instead of doing the shorts. Um, obviously, next month we'll see how things go we'll see how things sort of pan out um but very much during this month i found that editing of the um the the readings the book readings were a lot easier um i found that my reading aloud though not perfect was actually a lot better than it has been in the past um so I feel like it's something that I just want to maybe explore a little bit more, maybe see how it's going a little bit more, um, and maybe sort of try doing some actual book readings as opposed to the shorts. I mean, nothing really works on this channel at the moment anyway, might as well throw everything at the wall. So yeah, that's that's pretty much um, the update for, for that and what's going on with that. Um, so other things that have happened in October, um, I did in fact get another tattoo. <laughs> um, it's one of those things where I was originally going to get it this month, not last month. Um, I wasn't expecting it to sort of happen quite as quickly as it did. Um, mostly when I sort of like messaged in order to get myself booked in, I was expecting, you know, I gave them, I gave them dates for like that coming week. But I wasn't expecting anything um, for a couple more weeks. I thought it was going to be like end of October um, or closer to the end of October, beginning of November at the earliest. Um, but they literally could get me in that week. So I was like, yes, please. <laughs> uh, so it was a little, a little unexpected by how quickly it happened. Um, so it's still healing at the moment. So it's only, um, only... A uh, week and a half old at this point, so it's sort of like mid October. But yeah, I'm 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 happy with it. I think it looks really good. Everybody's seen it. It's like that's so cool. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I'm not planning on getting any other tattoos this year. One because like they are not cheap. So um, obviously, I mean, th this this is the cheapest of the three that I got this year. Um, so this is the only one I got this year that was under a hundred pounds. And I know at least one of the other ones that I definitely want to get, so one of the ones I'm definitely sort of planning for, is probably going to be over £100. So, like, at the very least, I need to be to be saving up towards that. Uh, not only that, but I've got a few other things coming out. Uh, well, I say other things coming out. The new Pokemon game comes out this month. Um, and that's going to, you know, that's, again, that's not the cheapest thing to to buy when it weren't one release date so I've also kind of got to go okay I need to make sure I've got the money put aside for that which I do currently um and then um obviously uh, the cute friend is down at the end of November which is the same time the Pokemon game comes out 
Um, and obviously I want to be able to do things with them or at least sort of like book for things with them, which I'll need like money for like now rather than, than later. Um, and then December, I'm probably, you know, might go out for a meal with my friends and stuff like that. So I need like, I, like there are plenty of things between now and the end of the year which require money. <laughs> so I definitely can't afford another tattoo this year. Um, I actually surprised myself by being able to afford three this year. It did take a little bit of sacrificing in order to sort of get the, to get this one definitely, um, and a little bit on, on to get this one as well. Just because my, my finances are a little bit tighter because of the whole fuel situation, which is fantastic. Um, but you know all, all in all I'm I'm reasonably happy that I got three this year it, it's brought my total up to six which is a nice even number so that feels like a good sort of okay if I don't get any more this year like there's no rush for it um the only reason I sort of felt a bit more compelled to get this one a little bit earlier is because both of these were originally in concept going to go into this space and I think my brain was just like I need to, I need to fill that space like there is something in me that is saying I need to fill that space and I'm not going to be happy until I fill that space so third time's charm um and I think that's now sort of like settled down my um impulse to get any more tattoos quite so soon <laughs> um as I said there are definitely a few more that I want to get but I'm looking more probably in the middle of next year for getting them um maybe a little bit sooner than that but I'm looking into next year at this point for getting them because I'm, like, I'm not in any rush. I've um, carved the craving, I filled the craving for um, this specific location and I'm okay to sort of wait on any more for now. Although the cute friend does keep joking, like, when's the next tattoo then? I'm like, next year. It, it's going to be next year. Um, it's definitely going to be next year. Um, I've now found a tattoo artist that I'm comfortable with um so like my previous three were all done by different people uh but these three have all been done by the same artist um they're reasonably easy for me to contact um they're reasonably easy for me to deal with they do a good job um so i'm like yeah i'm just, I'm just gonna stick with them like um that makes my life a lot easier because like some of this like some of the delays between me getting some of these tattoos has been more about um me not being comfortable with dealing with people. <laughs> the introvert in me. The introvert in me has made it difficult for me to have more tattoos in the past. Um, but I'm now at, like, I, I sort of, like, I found some that I'm comfortable with and uh, they're easy to, to get in contact with in a way that is not super stressful for me. Um, so, yeah, there, there will definitely be more tattoos, but not, not this year. 100% um, not this year. I'm not itching for any more this year um this is satisfied like the filling of that space which is something i very much felt like i needed to do this year um but yeah that's <laughs> as I said, that's like the unexpected thing for october but pretty cool thing for october i really like it um so in other news, technically this is 1st of November news, opposed to end of October news. Um, but Toby, the first of the What Makes Me books, released on the 1st of November. Um, the other three books in the series are scheduled for release um, the first Tuesday of every month for the next three months. So December, January and February. Um, Obviously, that means that some of October was very heavily dedicated to getting through the last edits, uh, sorting out the covers, um, sorting out the, the blurbs and uh, getting them ready <laughs> um, for the, 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 the staged releases. Um, the other three books are all currently available for pre-order. I've not really had much success with pre-orders in the past. But some of that has sort of been to do with the fact that um, the books were like the beginnings of series, um, and I'm not very good at sort of like advertising and marketing things. I am hoping that because it is, I wouldn't say it's more a more traditional series because that it that like each book has its own standalone story, um, and it's more kind of like they're they're connected by the characters. 
um, then they're connected by a continuous story, so you don't need to read them in order. But I am hoping that because it is sort of like more traditionally one, two, three, four, um, in terms of timeline, um, at, at the very least, that it's going to allow, um, like each subsequent book is more likely to get pre-orders if people sort of pick up on the first like book in the series and then the second book in the series and like so I'm, I'm hoping maybe the fourth book will get a few pre-orders but if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen like I'm not going to worry too much about it I know I'm not the best when it comes to my marketing at the moment I'm still trying to like refine things a little bit and figure things out a little bit um so it is very much at the moment uh, a kind of guessing game as to how things will go from here. Um, I'm still very much in the frame of mind planning of, well, I'm a prolific author. I write a lot. I have a huge backlog of stuff to, to use um, and to sort of polish up and get out there. Um, if I ever run out of like new things to write, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Um, so my strategy is still very much just make sure that I do a good job of polishing up the books and then just keep turning things um, turning things out there. Um, I already know that I've got two books releasing at the beginning of next year, so if it takes me more than a year to be ready to release anything else, then that's fine. Um, however, the books that I've now started editing, which are the third gen books, um, are a lot shorter than the doorstops. So theoretically, should be a lot easier to edit. Um, although, though this is the first time I've gone back to um, a more traditional first through edit with them. Um, so I didn't really do it with uh, the four previous books because, apart from like a few details here and there, I was like, yeah, it's just like smoothing things out as as I go along and then stopping and then like adjusting things and like a lot of the editing. That I did was very much on the go um so I did like the voice read edits sort of like from the beginning just to sort of like smooth them through a little bit more um with these ones because um as I continued writing it um I added like character details that I needed to go back and foreshadow <laughs> that like this is the great thing about working on the series in one go and like having the series completed before you release it like before you release any of the books in it because it gives you a chance to go back through and foreshadow things better and tighten up character developments a little bit better and it, it just gives you that opportunity to actually um create a cohesive narrative yeah you're still going to have the occasional plot hole or the occasional thing that gets left a little bit unexplained uh, you can't like avoid that kind of stuff completely um but it does make it a lot easier to make sure that you are getting rid of, of as much of that inconsistency as possible um and you're you're sort of like work, working it into sort of like a tighter overall cohesive narrative um even if like all the individual stories are very much like standalone but with a little bit of crossover here and there uh that which is like very much how um these books will work as well so like it's continuing in like the standalone but these are the same characters and it's in the same timeline and, and stuff like that um so this is the first time for a while that I've gone back and like my initial edit through isn't doing the voice reading which means like each chapter is going to take a little bit longer as it should I mean even with like the initial voice edits the first time through does take a lot longer because there's a lot more stopping and starting and adjusting and, and stuff like that with things um but part of the reason that I, I'm not doing the voice read through this first time is that I'm aware of a lot of things that need to be edited <laughs> um and I'm like I, I don't want to like accidentally miss it because I've not heard which bit that I'm on um and like the stopping and starting when I know I'm going to be stopping and starting a lot just feels a little bit like it, it like just will frustrate me a little bit too much um so I'm very much going through like the old school style of it which means I'm probably not going to pick up on as many um little mistakes as uh, like the the voice reading does help a lot with a lot of the the little mistakes not all of them there are definitely things that will slip through and I know there are um but it definitely like helps with certain types of mistakes for me because it, it, it gives me that second way of um assessing what's going on with it 
um, but it's very much needed because there are several things that I need to make, make sure they're incorporated better and, and stuff like that. So I, I want to take my time and making sure that I tighten things up. Um, I also need to at some point start writing down a proper timeline <laughs> of events so that I can tighten that up as well because I know that got very, very loose towards the end. Um, I just want to sort of like tighten it up so like I know what's happening when and like there are certain events that almost kind of overlap and I just want to just want to tighten everything up a little bit um in those sorts of terms as well so yeah I'm, I'm very much looking forward to editing through um the third gen as I said I've started the first book in the third gen series now um which is quite good because I had almost an entire well I did have an entire week off from actually editing so between uh finishing my final edit with um the fourth book in the what makes me serious so the fourth the final edit of Silas um I didn't do any editing again until I had basically all the pre-orders ready to go um, and they were all live, um, so that was about a week later, so like I, I'd finished doing the covers, I, I basically utilised that time that I had been doing for editing for sorting out the, sorting out the books, um, so that was, yeah, that took about a week to sort of do all those like final little um, bits and bobs that I needed to do with them, and then I started editing the third gen books, and at that point I think I was a bit more refreshed and ready to sort of tackle project again <laughs> and editing is definitely a project and um editing is one of those things that I definitely enjoy it um I personally find it's like it's really good because it gives you a chance to sort of go through the story again and you're not thinking about the story in terms of um constantly having to come up with like the next bit of the story but you're thinking about the story in terms of oh what can I do to improve it uh is there something I can do to make it a bit stronger I know I've got this element going on later on is there any way that I can hint at it earlier is there any way I can sort of incorporate this thing a little bit earlier so that when it happens like in a later book it doesn't come as like a complete 180 um and I think um a lot of times when you're writing things because you're not if you're like me and you don't necessarily plan ahead, um, you're not necessarily like thinking about 100% of everything. And even if you are somebody that like writes down all your plot points and you do tend to plan ahead, certain things will sometimes come out of nowhere in the process of writing. And then it's a case of, oh, okay, um, I, I like I need to go back and I need to make sure that's um, incorporated a little bit better. And um, yeah, there are, there are definitely a lot of things I know that um, as I was sort of writing, I did go back and I did start planting the seeds for some of it, but I knew I didn't catch every single incident which would need to be updated. Um, it was just a case of, okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to like edit a little bit here and edit a little bit here and edit a little bit here, just so that I've got those seeds in place so that when I actually come, I can like smooth it over a little bit better um, and then sort of like incorporate it in other places just to sort of like um, level it off a little bit more. Um, so I've done a little bit of the initial preemptive editing, but because I know there are quite a few things I need to go through and I need to smooth off and I need to like tighten up a little bit, especially in terms of like the timeline, um, I feel like doing it a little bit slower and not having the voice read on the first uh, go around is going to be the most beneficial. And yeah, it means that the first edit through is probably going to take a little bit longer if I've got other things on. But if I don't have other things on, then it's it's not really going to take too much um, extra time. Um, my reading speed is fairly decent and it's more a case of, you know, making sure that I catch all the bits that I need to catch or as many of the bits that I need to catch on the first go around as possible. And then when I get to the second go around, then I can sort of um, start doing the voice read through and then it makes it a lot easier to sort of like pick up on um, all the, like the, the little mistakes and then I might notice a few other things and like adjust a few other things and yeah, I, I do enjoy editing. <laughs> I do. I do genuinely enjoy editing. I, I don't understand people who don't enjoy editing. I mean, I get it. It's work. It is a lot of work. But I think for me, it's like part of the process. Like editing isn't not writing. Um, editing is just thinking about the writing process from a slightly different angle. You've got, you've got the body. You're just trying to shape it <laughs> just trying to shape it um so yeah that's 
very much sums up my October in a lot of ways. Um, surprise tattoo. Um, doing the readings of um, Broken Before Use and Welcome to Maryville, um, and thinking that maybe that I will start doing readings um, to just see how that goes because it was a little bit easier than doing the um, the shorts. And I like my life to be easy. <laughs> um, and then the preparation for the release of the What Makes Me series, which uh, three of the four books are available for pre-order and one of them is available right now. Um, and yeah, and then starting the editing of the third gen books. And the third, like right now I have to call them the third gen books because I don't actually have a um, series name. <laughs> I need to come up with a good series name for them. I right at this point, I'm like, I, I have no idea what this series, like, what would make sense for this series overall. It took me a while to figure out that the What Makes Me series was what's make, what makes me. I did go through several other potential names before I, I landed on that as being, now that's, that's the name that I want to go with. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where it is. As I said, these uh, roundups are also going to be like a catch-up kind of thing because I'm not doing the, the weekly ones anymore. Um, but it, I think it just allows for a little more natural flow because I actually have things to talk about. Whereas when I was trying to find something to talk about every single week, I was like running out of stuff because, you know, in general, my life isn't that interesting. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, so I hope you found this one sort of interesting. If you're interested in any way, shape, or form of checking out what makes me series, there is now an additional link in the description for the what makes me series, along with the links for all my other books down there as well. Um, the series have got series links, and the individual book has an individual link. <laughs> um, so only one of them is not part of a series. Um, I am a sequent. I am very much a sequential writer. Um, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you're looking forward to whatever it is I will be talking about at the end of November, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.